with the highest academic distinction. May we invite our assistant principal and senior high school head, Mr. Jerry C. Jupinot. The students with highest academic distinction, school year 2022-2023. From science, technology, engineering, and mathematics stand, let's give a standing ovation with a big round of applause to Mr. Carl Beethoven P. Mahmoud, student with highest academic distinction. He will also receive a Gawan Caterina Award the Josefina Belmonte Excellence Award and will receive a cash incentive of 5,000 pesos. Once again, a big round of applause to Mr. Carl Benhoven Perata Mamuni, student with the highest academic distinction two years, 2022, 2023. As he delivers his words of gratitude, may we invite once again this year's student with the highest academic distinction, Mr. Carl Beethoven Maude. Thank you very much. Uh, graduates, please be seated. The master's of ceremony is General Indian Spasho, Mr. Gwyn Christian Kaladi. To the honored guest, Mr. Brandon T. Manindig. Uh, the president, Dr. Arlene S. Manindig. The executive vice president, Mrs. Catherine Joyce Ordonez. Uh, the principal, Mr. Julian Benedict M. Chu. Right, uh, assistant principal, Mr. Jerry C. Jobinay. Administrators, faculty members, friends and family, and most especially my fellow graduates. I would like to welcome everyone to the College of St. Catherine Quezon City's graduation ceremony of the class of 2022. For years, we had to fight the hardest battles of our lives. One is waking up early, and the other is trying to fall asleep. And we all may differ in the hours of sleep that we get, but there's for sure uh, one thing that we have in common. And that is we are gathered here today in this very room because we all made it. And for that, I want everyone to give themselves a big round of applause. Please. And I hope that enough claps are uh, already uh, established to wake everyone up. And that is all uh, that we are gathered here today in the very same outfit like we're from a Harry Potter movie. And thinking about it, we spent way too much time in high school that we realized just how much we've grown. Like in seventh grade, uh, our bags uh, grew bigger as well. We all have whiteboards now and markers. And then in eighth grade, suddenly everyone had mustache. Everyone had mustache and girlfriends and boyfriends 
and both. <laughs> and this time, only a few students would still bring their lunch boxes because everybody had lunch money that students would use to spend for everything except for lunch. And that was the time where uh, the most expensive, expensive thing that I owned was a scientific calculator. And then in ninth grade, ninth grade comes where the most expensive thing that I owned at that point was still a scientific calculator. And we just learned about economics at that time, so that makes a whole lot of sense. And then the classes were suspended. And then the classes were still suspended. And then the classes were still suspended. <laughs> And then we realized just how messed up the situation actually was. But uh, however, we took it like a champ. We have spent two years of online class with presentations, documents, and videos. And when we hit grade 10, suddenly everyone wants to be a YouTuber now. <laughs> and it doesn't end there because we still have senior high school. And when we were in grade 11, we were so stoked about uh, already being grade 12. And now that we just graduated this uh, grade 12, uh, we realized how much of a pain it was to carry on with this school year. For a very particular reason, I think we all know. So I won't talk about it. <laughs> and we went from seeing each other's forehead on our computer screen to seeing each other's forehead on the big screen. And it is through the pandemic that we learned to adapt, especially in education. Things have become so different that we had to reinvent our ways of learning. And that helped us shape to the kind of individuals that we are today. And I say it worked really well. I see so many familiar faces up there on the corner. Shout out to 12 STEM A. <laughs> and years of friendship unified by collective traumatic experiences as we continue high school. But despite all that, we managed to graduate and we still share the same exact traumas. On the brighter side, this is a testament to how the class of 2023 is the best class in CSEQ's history because we learned to be resilient. Today marks the beginning of the new chapter in our lives. And no, before you react, I don't mean another chapter of research because I know y'all can start doing another one. I meant that each chapter of our lives is a window for opportunities and challenges that are vital for our growth. With this, we must take every bit of chance to face the ever-changing challenges of society and in global community so we can push ourselves to do our best and challenge ourselves to see how long we can last and discover our true potential. Everyone here went on a journey. Others would call it a success story. We were presented with many challenges, but we remain persistent. Some can have the most obscure ways of dealing with struggles. Like when they said that I had to write a speech at this very moment, I knew from that point that I have to take my time and actually sit down, write these meaningful words on paper. And so I did. Last night. <laughs> Who knows whether this speech was written by Chat GPT. I'm not gonna confirm any of that. But that leads me to my point that despite our differences in our strategies, our techniques, we share the same goal. And that is to continue to strive for excellence. And the thing that makes us monumental is our own mentality. And for that, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the ones who guided us and those who made it possible for us to achieve all our milestones. To the College of St. Catherine, Quezon City, with the steering guidance of Dr. Arlene S. Manigding, thank you for giving us the opportunity to experience a supportive environment, provide us guidance and service that we will carry on, uh, we will carry and we will uh, have with us as we per, uh, continue with the pursuit of knowledge. 
and also to the teachers who became our mentor and the ones who provided us inspiration and knowledge. Shout out to Miss Princess Arcee Daldap of 12 SMA. And thank you for always uh, giving us your undying support. And also to the friends and families, the ones that provided us determination. And for thank you for being the reason why we do what we do now. To my mom and my sisters over there on the second row, thank you very much. And you truly mold us to be warriors. And we are forever grateful for that one. Living or dead, the memories we created with the people that we know will be forever remembered. So fellow graduates, I cannot say everything and anything at all at this point. Uh, I hope this goes without saying that um, our life is a journey. So our learning doesn't end here. So let's cherish the moments where we have to face it or we have to learn together, side by side. And before I forget, I would like to leave you all with a message that I hold very close to my heart. It is from an aspiring artist uh, who goes by the name of Mr. Charlie Put. And he goes by saying, we've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so go out there and do remarkable things. Otherwise, don't do anything at all. Thank you so much. Once again, congratulations. for that very enjoyable and witty words of gratitude. At this juncture,